Spinal decompression is a drugless, non-surgical treatment alternative, and it is commonly used to treat symptoms and pain due to sciatica, herniated discs, degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis, and a variety of other ailments. What is decompression? Spinal decompression therapy, also known as vertebral axial decompression therapy, is a type of mechanical traction. A specialized table and computer control unit apply a precise and distractive tension or pull along the axis of the spine. This distractive tension, along with special positioning of the body, unloads and gently separates the targeted bones of the back. By removing compressive forces, the equipment effectively decompresses the targeted area of the spine. Although most commonly used for the low back, spinal decompression can also be used to treat other areas of the body, such as the neck or the wrists. So let's take a brief look at spinal decompression equipment. Spinal decompression equipment really only consists of three main components. One, a decompression table. Two, a computer controlled traction unit and three, a variety of various patient harnesses. Let's look at the spinal decompression procedure. On your first visit, we will take a detailed history of your case. Next, your doctor will perform a physical examination and evaluation to ensure that decompression therapy is safe and suitable for you and your condition. There are some cases where decompression therapy may be unsafe. Some examples include severe osteoporosis, fracture, ankylosing spondylitis, active cancer, pregnancy, active infection, in an immediate area where there is surgical hardware such as pins, rods, or screws, and after recent spinal surgery. After your initial exam and consultation, your doctor will determine whether you are a candidate for decompression therapy. The actual decompression treatment procedure is a fairly easy experience for the patient. For most conditions on most tables, the patient is placed in a supine or face-up position. However, there are some tables and conditions which require a patient to lie prone in a face-down treatment position. When treating the low back, the patient lies on the decompression table comfortably on his or her back or stomach. Next, a set of padded straps is secured snugly around the waist, and another set is secured around the chest. When treating the neck, the patient lies on his or her back with a pair of soft rubber pads or similar apparatus behind the neck. The provider then enters treatment parameters to set the intensity, timing, and other aspects of your treatment. When treatment begins, the two harnesses on your body will separate gently and in a controlled manner, stretching and relieving pressure on the targeted area of your spine. The traction unit computer cycles through phases of controlled and gentle traction or pulling followed by periods of relaxation. And that's really all there is to it. You may also receive other treatment along with decompression. Some examples include application of ice or heat, electronic muscle stimulation, or other forms of therapy. So how long will it take? Well, the duration of each treatment varies, but expect a routine visit for decompression therapy to last somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. Research shows that you can expect an overall treatment program length of somewhere between 15 to 20 visits over a 6 to 8 week period. So how does spinal decompression work? What exactly does it do? Spinal decompression actually creates a negative pressure in the nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc. This negative pressure within the intervertebral disc allows the previously compressed discs to receive fluids, blood, oxygen, and other nutrients that the disc was previously starved of. This increased nutrient supply is thought to stimulate healing within the intervertebral disc. Some experts also believe that this environment allows specialized cells called fibroblasts to begin repairing tears or degeneration in the intervertebral disc. With decompression therapy, pressure on nerve roots and other structures is decreased and brings with it reduction of pain and symptomatology. Research also suggests that the negative pressure created by decompression therapy may actually draw prolapsed disc material back into the disc space.
Now decompression might sound like a walk in the park, but as you've probably suspected, there's a little more to the story, and a little more to spinal decompression than simply relaxing on a table for a half hour each visit. There are actually three main stages of spinal decompression therapy. Phase one is pain and symptom relief. Phase two is healing. And phase three is known as strengthening and prevention. So let's take a look at each one independently. Phase one, pain and symptom relief. It is difficult for most patients to focus on the other phases of treatment while still suffering with pain and symptoms. Therefore, stage one focuses on reducing or eliminating your pain and symptoms. It is important to note, however, that your care does not end with reduction of pain. Just because you're out of pain or your symptoms have reduced or disappeared doesn't mean your treatment is over. In reality, it's just beginning. You also need care to help prevent reoccurrence of your condition in the future. Phase two, healing. This second phase somewhat overlaps with phase one. While experiencing symptom relief, your body is also beginning healing and regeneration. Intervertebral discs and other damaged tissues begin to experience increased oxygen, increased hydration, and increased nutrition. Muscles that were previously in a state of constant contraction and spasm to guard and stabilize an injured area may begin to relax. All of these changes allow the repair mechanisms of your body to begin to operate efficiently. During this phase, it is critical that you follow your doctor's treatment advice. This ensures continued healing and helps to prevent further injury. Remember, every patient is different. Your doctor will provide specific treatment instructions for your case. And the third and final phase is strengthening and prevention. Once injured areas have healed, the focus of your care will switch to prevention. In this phase, your doctor designs a treatment plan to help you prevent further injury. This may include an exercise and rehabilitation program to strengthen muscles and stabilize the area, making re-injury less likely. Your doctor may also address issues such as ergonomics, lifestyle changes, home exercises, nutrition, and reducing or eliminating intake of substances such as caffeine and nicotine. So as you can see, with decompression therapy, there's much more to your care than simply lying on a table. It involves an active commitment to your care and an active commitment to your treatment program. There is much more to your care beyond eliminating your symptoms. Without completing all three phases of care, a patient gets trapped in a vicious cycle, re-injuring a healed area and experiencing continued relapse. With decompression therapy and the rehabilitation advice of your provider, you can reduce the likelihood of future injury or re-injury. So does decompression therapy actually work? The bottom line is yes. While no guarantees can ever be made regarding any form of health care, our research shows that spinal decompression therapy works. Let's take a look at a few well-known research studies for an example. One of the most well-known studies involved decompression treatment of 219 patients with herniated discs and degenerative disc disease. After completion of the study, it was found that 92% of the patients improved overall, and 86% of the patients showed immediate improvement and resolution of their symptoms. Another study involved 144 patients. It showed that 76% of the participants achieved remission of pain with decompression therapy. Yet another study published in the 2001 edition of the Neurological Research Journal showed 77% pain reduction in the study group with successful decompression of nerve roots at multiple levels. So it's obvious that decompression therapy works. Decompression is far less expensive and invasive than surgery or drugs. Doesn't it make sense for you or your loved ones to start with the least invasive forms of treatment and consider drugs and surgery a last resort? Spinal decompression therapy has been shown to be effective in relieving pain and symptoms and possibly in healing certain conditions. Don't underestimate the power of spinal decompression, conservative care, and most importantly, the power of your own body to heal itself when provided the right environment.